Welcome to the WAC Cross Country Championships recap. The Conference Cross Country Championships were held on Saturday, October 29th at Jefferson Park Golf Course in Seattle on a rainy morning. On the men's side, three-time defending champion Utah Valley was favored in the pre-championships coaches poll. UMKC was picked second. Early on, Grand Canyon Samuel Proctor out in front. He would finish second in the race. The men run an 8K. Defending champion Jason Lynch and Tyson Lambert of Utah Valley leading the pack about halfway through. Third lap, Lynch still leading as we have two over rings and two threes near the front. Last lap, UMKC's Bryce Miller pulling away. Miller would go on to win. His time 25.03.05. Winning this race is a dream come true for Miller. Feels amazing. You know, I've been working for this for four years now and you know, Utah Valley's pretty much dominated all those years. Lynch and Lambert finished three and four for Utah Valley. UMKC's Jason Fambro and Quinlan Moeller fifth and seventh. When the team results are tallied, it's just a one point difference and UMKC pulls off the upset. The Ruse edge out Utah Valley 46 to 47. UMKC. <laughs> Point. One point. Yeah, it's one point, but it's one point in our direction, and we'll take it. The guys have worked extremely hard this year, and they deserve it. I mean, it, it's been a hard, tough, tough battle. Utah Valley is a very competitive team, so we knew that coming out, we were going to have to have some work to, to be done by all our men, not just five of them. Congratulations to UMKC. Utah Valley just one point back. Host Seattle U taking third. Grand Canyon number four, followed by New Mexico State, UTRGV, and Chicago State. On the women's side, Utah Valley was picked to win by the coaches and were the defending conference champions. Second lap, Utah Valley's Mackenzie Priest leading with Grand Canyon's Elizabeth Balson right there. But look at Seattle U's Lila Rice making her move, and she would not look back later on. Rice stretching out her lead. We go to the finish, and it's Rice all by her lonesome. She runs the 5K in almost 18 minutes flat, nearly 19 seconds ahead of second place. It was just great to be out there with my team. We've been working really hard this whole season, and the girls are just awesome, so it's a good day. Next are three Utah Valley runners, Savannah Berry, Michaela Morgan, and Freese. The Wolverines capture their second straight WAC team championship. With 41 points, Utah Valley. Oh, it was a great day. Um, the weather's great for racing, not for the spectators, but for the athletes. So it turned out to be a good day. Girls ran really well. I was proud of their efforts, and um, the competition was very, very good. These smaller meets um, are a little nerve-wracking just because the numbers aren't there, and so all the points are come out of premium, and I think our girls did a great job. Congratulations to Utah Valley Seattle U finishing just five points back. Thanks in part to that strong race by Rice. New Mexico State is third with UTRGV in fourth. Next is UMKC, Grand Canyon, CSU Bakersfield, and Chicago State. WAC teams will next compete at various NCAA regionals on Friday, November 11th. For the WAC Digital Network, I'm Eric Danner.